Hello there, my name is David. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed a free agent. Who will that free agent be? Please hit that like and subscribe. Have you heard that before, Steelers Nation? Stop using the AI sites. The Pittsburgh Steelers news, there's so many out there. So many Pittsburgh Steelers news sites like that. My name is not David. My name is Mark. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we got some breaking news today. Some breaking news. The Steelers have signed a free agent. But who is it? Who is the free agent, right? We've got quite a few on our roster. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed a free agent. Well, guys, the free agent is none other than a big naming, big signing, Jameer Jones. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed Jameer Jones to a one-year deal. Now, I was just talking yesterday about bringing in Bud Dupree. Could that be a chance? How the Steelers need some more outside linebacker help. But to be honest, right, I didn't expect them to bring back Jones. But he is, he is more of a teamer than he is a, a depth piece behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. We know how good they are. We know how good those two players are. TJ Watt, Highsmith, fantastic when healthy, right? But behind that, there seems to be some lacking things. There's no real depth behind that. They tried the experiment with, with Malik Reed. So I guess that if they're signing Jameer Jones, that I doubt they would sign Malik Reed as well. Um, they might go into the draft or go out and get a veteran guy like a, uh, Bud Dupree or someone like that to come in and help. But the breaking news today, guys, is that Jameer Jones will be signing a one-year deal. So this comes from the Steelers website itself. So it's 100% fact. There is no rumor about this, no speculation. It's happened. Jones signed to a one-year contract. So first of all, shout out to Jameer Jones, man. Shout out to, to the player. Um, I wish him all well next year. It says here, you know, he spent the season, the 2022 season with the Steelers after being claimed off waivers. He finished with seven tackles last year, one pass defense, and three special team tackles while playing in 17 games. So he was healthy throughout. He played every single game, which is fantastic. And even if he's not making the tackles, he's still making a difference on the teams, you know, punt coverage, kickoff coverage, stuff like that. So um, he's not a huge signing, not a big guy uh, for our team, but we've got to wish him like all the best. Let me know in the comments, uh, guys, what you think below. Uh, even go into his stats overall. He's played in uh, 20, uh, 20, sorry, 32 games. Not too bad. Three, three with the Steelers in 2021. He was with the, the Rams in, in uh, 2021, then Jacksonville as well. Then he came back to the Steelers in 2022. So he had a full season with the Steelers. So this could be maybe a good signing that to shore up a little bit of depth, you know, on the special teams, units, and hopefully a bit of play, from, you know, uh, when if TJ is not there or Highsmith isn't there, you know, a bit of play that maybe you can force a sack, force a few fumbles, but I don't think so. But you got to give the guy a chance, right? He had he had um, ten tackles in 2022, and like it says, one pass deflection. So, not a crazy signing, not not a huge, huge, uh, you know, Jalen Ramsey signing. But the Pittsburgh Steelers have signed the free agent, uh, Jameer Jones, to one year deal. And let's go back here. Let me know, guys, in the comments below what you think. Um, I rarely get to break news, so when I wake up in the morning, this is fantastic, right? It's my 8.30 a.m. I just woke up, and I got a, a notification from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Steelers have signed, signed Jameer Jones to one-year deal. Now, that deal, I went back to spot track as well. Um, I'm not really into the money, but I am learning slowly how things how things work and how things are, um, you know, kind of based off averages, right? So last year in 2022, he's now 25 years old. So he's a young player, so he can still improve. Um, $825 salary or, or cap hit. So I would expect something very similar around the 900,000, maybe a million dollar mark uh, for the one year deal. I don't, I don't, I don't see even the same price. I wouldn't see too much money being spent uh, for his role being backup outside linebacker and special teamer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Waking up to breaking news at 8.30 AM is pretty exciting. I got my coffee. I'm ready for the day. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do like the video and you made it this far right now, did you make it this far? You and you and you. If you made it this far, hit that sub, hit that like. Uh, and also consider joining um, uh, the membership platform as well. We do uh, a membership platform here. I think it's like $3 for mates rates. Uh, and I'll read your name out in the credits. I will uh, give you access to join members on the poll. 
odds, stuff like that. If you want to win in Holy Dooley University, please go ahead and do that uh, and support my journey on YouTube. But that's it, guys. Uh, Jameer Jones, that's one piece of the puzzle. So we now signed Christian Kuntz, long snapper. I think he got a one-year deal as well or two-year deal and one or the other. And Jameer Jones got a one-year deal. Nothing exciting. We know this, though. As Steeler fans, we kind of know this. We kind of know this is happening. Uh, we never really get those big splashy deals with the, the Ramseys and the, and the Wagners and the, and the Bud Dupree's coming back. It doesn't really happen. We just shore things up and then go play football and go to the draft. But anyways, guys, I'll see you later. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed a free agent. Hopefully you guys like my AI voice at the very start. And as always, guys, here we go, Steelers. Here we go. <laughs>